Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In this video, I'm going to give a specific example related to finding the confidence interval for the population variance. So here, one type of cookie manufactured by Sosalito is hazelnut cookies. The machine that fills the packages of these cookies is set up in such a way that average net weight of these packages is 32 ounces. So here is the unit of this weight of the packages and a variance of 0 0.015 square ounces. So this is the value of variance. You don't need to square it anymore because this is just the unit of 0 0.015. The unit is square ounces and this one the unit is ounces so from time to time the quality control inspector at the company selects a sample of a few such packages and then he will calculate the variance so this is actually representing the sample variance which is s squared of the net weight of these packages and constructs a 95 percent confidence interval for the population variance if either both or one of the two limits of this confidence interval is not in this interval 0 0.008 and 0 0.03 then the machine has to be stopped and adjusted so this one here is the standard um, set by the company that means whenever the confidence interval is calculated the value must be in between these values so here is the lower limit obviously and this is the upper limit so if both or one of the two limits of the confidence interval constructed is not contained in this interval then you have to stop the machine yeah right now a recently taken random sample of 25 packages so this is the value of n give a sample variance of 0 0.029 so this is the value of s squared sample variance and again this value doesn't need to be squared anymore because this is sometimes uh, becomes a point of confusion among the students they wonder whether this value should be squared or not well no you don't have to do that because this is just the unit for this value given here square ounces so uh Based on the results given here, construct a 95% confidence interval and decide whether the machine needs an adjustment. Assume that the net weights of cookies in all packages are normally distributed. So, right. Mm. Okay, now, first of all, I'm just going to uh, clearly write down what is the standard uh, required by the company so basically the company is going to compare the confidence interval with this value this value is between 0 0.008 until 0 0.030 so this is the standard uh, set by the company where the confidence interval has to be from or between these two values yeah 0 0.008 until 0 .00, 0 0.030 so this is the standard required by the company okay all right now uh we are going to construct the confidence interval for the population variance and that is given by this formula here sigma squared so here we have n minus 1 s squared n minus 1 s squared and at the bottom here is two different values so here is a bigger value attached to that which is chi squared alpha over 2 and this one is a small value of chi squared y minus alpha over 2 okay so now uh, the confidence interval is 95 percent which means the value of alpha is 5%. So here, value of alpha is 5%. I'm just going to write down alpha is 5%. And therefore, we know that this one is going to be, uh, alpha must be divided by 2. So alpha divided by 2 is going to be 0 0.025. So I'm just going to uh, 
uh, write down whatever information that we have so far n minus 1 so 25 minus 1 is going to be 24 times with 0 0.029 Okay, that's, so that's the value of sample variance so here we have chi squared for the value of 0 0.025 next we have the same value at the top and then at the bottom here we have chi squared 1 minus 0 0.025 is going to be 0 0.9775 Okay, so now I'm going to um, represent these two values. Okay, I'm going to sketch the position of these two values. And that is how it's going to look like. So here we have a chi-square distribution. Uh, so this one is 0 0.025. So the point here is going to be this one at this point particular point is chi squared 0 0.025 and the value is can be obtained sorry the value can be obtained by looking at degrees of freedom 24 and area 0 0.025 which is this one so the value here is um, 39.364 so this is 39.364 so next is um, 0 0.975 which means the area from this one until the end of the distribution is 0 0.975 so the point that we are looking for is this one this is chi squared 0 0.975 and in order to find the value of this we have to refer to again degrees of freedom 24 and 0 0.975 is this one so the value is 12.401 so that is the value 12.401 and we're going to use these values to obtain the confidence interval for the population variance yeah all right so next is i'm just going to uh we're just going to substitute this value so this value will be substituted with 39.364 and this value is going to be substituted with 12.401 so i believe that you can go on and find that the final answer to this is the population variance is going to be between um, 0 0.017 7 and the upper limit is going to be 0 0.0561 all right so based on this uh, answer that you got over here we're going to compare this answer with the standard value practiced by the company yeah so this is the standard requirement that says the confidence interval has to be uh, between these two values here 0 0.008 and 0 0.03 so if you look at this value 0 0.0177 is indeed between these two values so we are okay with that but however if you look at the um, upper limit here this value is 0 0.056 so this one already exceeds the highest value given in the standard practice which is 0 0.03 so this is 0 0.03 but what we have here is 0 0.056 and based on that we will decide that the machine needs to be stopped and adjusted so based on that um, the machine needs to be stopped and adjusted okay so that's the answer and the next question is can you obtain the confidence interval for the population standard deviation well in order to find the confidence interval for sigma what we need to do is we just need to find the square root of this value 
of these two values here. Yeah? So if you find the square root of this value, you will get that between 0 0.1330 and the upper limit is going to be 0 0.2369 so that is the confidence interval for the population standard deviation all right that's all for now thank you very much for watching